Good morning, friends. How are you today? It's Pastor Drew with another minute message. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but this kind of feels like it's going on a long time that we're having to stay home and change our plans and miss seeing our friends. I miss all of you, but I'm so glad for ways to connect with you, like on this video and know that I love you and I'm praying for you and God is with you and loves you so much wherever you are. There are two stories that I wanna share with you today from here in my home. I'm at home like you are with this shelter in place, maybe you've heard it called, so that we can do our best to keep everybody healthy and safe. And so I have two stories from scripture that are part of our worship today. One of them is about Jesus and his friend Lazarus who got sick and died. And Jesus' friends are really sad and Jesus is really sad and Jesus cries. Maybe you've cried before. Maybe you're feeling all sorts of emotions. Remember, it's important to ask ourselves and others how we're doing and how we're feeling in this time. I know I've felt a lot of different feelings. And Jesus reminds us in this story that it's okay to feel whatever we're feeling. And that doesn't mean that we love God any less or that we're not hopeful that God brings new life. Jesus knows that so well and still Jesus feels all of his feelings for his friends when they're sad and when he's sad, and when he's grieving the loss of his friend. And the second story also has to do with bringing life when it's unexpected, like life for Jesus' friend Lazarus was unexpected, even though Jesus knew it was going to happen. And that's the prophet Ezekiel has this vision of these dry bones, these old dry bones. Have you ever found old bones on a nature walk? Well, Ezekiel sees all these bones and sees God bring them to new life. And Ezekiel's message comes to God's people when they're in exile, when they've been pushed out to different places and they feel really alone and isolated. And they're not sure if God has abandoned them or still cares about them. And Ezekiel says, friends, this isn't the end of the story. God is going to bring new life. God can bring new life from these bones and new life to us. God has not abandoned us, but God is with us, bringing hope and life and life. But even when we know that, we still feel sad or scared or worried, and that's okay, just like Jesus reminds us. And yet we know that this isn't the end of the story, that God is going to bring life from the midst of the chaos, and that we will be together again in person soon. Will you pray with me? If you'd repeat after me while we pray together. Good morning, God. Thank you for Jesus and for prophets like Ezekiel who remind us you are with us and you love us and you bring new life. Help us to feel our feelings and know that you are with us. Amen. Thank you, friends. It's good to be with you in this way while we can't be together soon. And until then, I'll be seeing you this way a few more times from here at home or maybe from the church again. Grace and peace.